Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we're looking at uh, Pinterest for business. So if you've been uh, following these videos and you've been browsing Pinterest, you may have noticed at a certain point there is visit the all new analytics, learn more about your most popular pins and people who like them. Yes, I want to know about that. I want to know who's uh, interacting with my content and, and uh, how effective I am. So if you select visit analytics, it's going to take you to analytics.pinterest.com and this is where you can see your statistics. Let's take a look at this. Analytics.pinterest.com. See what's new. We gave your analytics a fresh new look and added more data on how your pins are doing. So I can go next. Uh, your Pinterest profile, average daily impressions, daily viewers, so how many people are uh, looking at my profile and such. New profile metrics sh show you which of your pins and boards appeal to people the most. Audience, learn more about who's interacting with pins from your site and which ones they like most. And improve metrics for your site. See how pins from your site are doing with repins, click-throughs, and other helpful stats. Got it. That one's got to be set up with your website. So remember, back when you're on your profile over here and you've got on your settings, uh, edit profile, verify website, you need to add that code to your website so that this fully works. Let's say it's working, but it'll give you statistics on all of this. Uh, who's visiting your profile, who your audience is, and activity on your website. So obviously, I just created this account, so I don't have very much to look at. But here I would see impressions, which is how much does my content appear in front of people. Uh, people look at the content, but then what about interactions? Well, here's the interactions. Repins, clicks, likes, and the pin type. Pretty self-explanatory. If someone sees the content and then shares it, they've repinned it. If they simply click the content, like a click-through to go to my website, that's a clicks. Uh, if they click to like, there's likes, and what kind of pin it is, what type of content does it have. So I can also look at your Pinterest profile. This will give me information over the past 30 days and such about views to my website. I can narrow it down to different times. Again, my account is very new, so I'm not getting any interesting data from it. But sometimes you've got these tips. Pin eye-catching images with useful descriptions and rich pins so people want to save them for later. Hmm, what are examples of useful descriptions? So take advantage of any of these um, little bits of info that Pinterest gives you. It's their playground. After all, we should learn their rules. So uh, again, once you've got this set up and start collecting data, you'll be able to to really see who is interacting with your account, with your profile, with your pins. Check out how engagement trends over time. Understanding where your audience is from can help you find new opportunities for marketing. So that's important, an important thing to look at. Can I go back to home feed? And I'm back to my normal screen here. And remember, I can always go back like this. If I go back to my profile here, click on the options, we've got analytics. So analytics so that you know what is happening with Pinterest. So happy pinning.